Why are you wearing that? Honey, why aren't you dressed like this, okay? First of all, I am in my goddess form, the highest version of us. All right, I'm a forward-thinking sign. I'm an Aquarius is what we do, girl. We ain't got the time to think about what other people are thinking about us because rule number one is, baby girl, that the world rotates. Ain't nobody got the time to think about us. So we might as well live life the best that we can. Comprendes? That's what I thought. Snap those opinions to the moon because we are gonna vibe. Hiya! Also, genuinely speaking, thinking about what others think about us limits us, puts us in a box. We're an Aquarius. We don't do well in little condensed Pokeball spaces. We too high for that. Huh, you know what? You're absolutely right. I know, girl, that's what we do. Es lo que hacemos. Bye now. Let me tell you that the way people look at you is not your responsibility. The way you think of yourself is your responsibility. By the way, this video in no way was created for you to think arrogant and for you to not care completely because your cares must go somewhere. They must go to somewhere that you value and you like. Hello llamas and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gisela Murillo and for today's video, I'm going to share some tips and advice on why it's important that we stop caring what other people think of us. So most likely you clicked on this video because you're trying to quit that job, you're trying to start a YouTube channel, you're trying to start a business, you're trying to move away from toxic relationships that you've outgrown, you feel stuck because you're afraid of what other people are thinking except I'm here to tell you that it is 2021 and it's time to keep calm and llama on. For me personally I decided to do a YouTube channel because I wanted to learn how to speak my mind and learn how to public speak. As a child I've always been so timid also I was told that if I was quiet and just followed things by the rule book that I would be okay in life except this made me into a very awkward turn as I grew older. So according to psychology and other reads I found online and HuffPost, the reason why we care about what other people think is because we are trying to seek approval. We are trying to indulge our self-esteem. We are trying to always be right. We are trying to always do things enough in society's eyes. According to psychology, there's two types of decisions that you make. So one of them is internal and the other one is external. External decisions is making a decision based on the opinions of other people because you need their approval. They sound something like, am I right? Do you like this idea? Do you like this dress? Everyone thinks of this decision maker as a team player because they can't go on without the approvals of others. Caring about what others think also limits you on what you actually want to do because you're following the way society was taught. And because our society values grand impressions, only then will we be able to ever be enough and it's sickening. The problem with this is that now you've created a toxic relationship with other people and yourself because this is the only way that you can measure your self-worth. This is the illusion that we create that if others think that we're doing it right or that we are constantly always being perfect, then we're correct. That is harmful because maybe internally you are trying to maybe move to that country or start that business plan. You feel stuck. You're like, oh my God, what are my parents gonna think? if I let go of this nine to five job, this 401k, you have to do what is best for you because no matter the outcome, you have to do right by you. This type of thinking actually stems from a very young age because I remember when I was in elementary school and my teacher was trying to help us draw something in art class. I was like, teacher, is this uh, scribble scrabble correct? And she would have no choice but to be like, yeah, it's beautiful. You're doing such a great job because why my child self was asking for approval and validation from the teacher. In a way, it's not our fault. This stems from a very young age and also a very traditional path of how others want us to live. We start at a young age, go to school, go to college, etc., get the job, get the house. The problem is, is that that path is just one path. There is many individual paths. Social media, as fun as it is, can easily make you feel like you aren't doing enough and you aren't an entrepreneur under 30. While those stories are inspiring and may motivate us, each of us is walking on a different path. And while we may look at success as a grand achievement, everyone has a different version of what success means. This type of thinking can make you feel stagnant and stuck 
and just doing the same old same old instead of vibing into your highest self expanding your soul and really internally living the life that you want when we are kept in our familiar routine safe zone and are no longer happy your energy and the universe is making room for your soul to grow and expand many people who do not spiritually awaken don't see this and feel stuck living the same old same old so for example if you wanted to start a business and you shared this idea with somebody now somebody's opinion of your business is going to leave you with the feeling of maybe i shouldn't do a business because what if i fail or what if i this because that person is ultimately projecting their insecurities of you we each have things that we individually value in life and it's the point where if others don't understand it's not your problem to explain yourself we aren't all meant to be the same so that's why it's important for us to stop caring what other people think so we start thriving and not surviving so here are some tips that I want to share on why we should stop caring what other people think. So tip number one is don't take anything personally and remember that people are projecting their insecurities onto you. Their baggage is not your responsibility and what they didn't do is not your fault. As you get older and you stay in your truth and power, you become your own best friend and the person at the end who is going to give yourself everything that you need. At this point in life, the ultimate inner rich is to be at peace. And let me tell you that when I'm by myself, I truly do enjoy my own company. I do not need to be surrounded by a lot of people. Not that I'm saying that I'm antisocial. I am more introverted than I am extroverted, but I do enjoy the solace of my own company. Giselle is going to do what Giselle is going to do, not what others think of her. Think about it like this. When will you ever get to if you constantly keep thinking in this way? When other people are tearing you down, it's because ultimately they are not satisfied with the life that they are living. Tip number two is people are busy, believe it or not. The earth rotates and this thought to me is so comforting. Why? Because it means that people have their own problems to deal with and everybody has their own things that they are trying to work on so believe it or not not everybody is thinking about you all the time some people are just too worried about what they need to do or what they need to live up to and grow in their own area one of my favorite things that I ever told my friends that supported me on my channel is exactly that that the world rotates and that they have their own things that they need to do I thank my friends for supporting my channel however I don't expect them to watch my videos like that all the time because I know that they're all progressively working on something for themselves. I told them, I'd rather you watch me when you really have the time to really watch my whole video versus you just watching it just because you feel like you have to support me. I more than anyone hate pressure. So I will never cause pressure to my friends and loved ones because everybody has their own thing to do. The world is going to keep rotating. So you might as well do the damn thing that you want. If you tell people what you do and they kind of have like this negative energy towards you, understand that you have the wrong support staff system. You don't have to watch all my videos, it's okay. I'd rather you watch the videos that really did help you and helped you vibe into your better self or the videos that just gave you joy or that simplistic smile that maybe you needed for the day. Keep calm and llama on. Tip four is stop comparing yourself. It really annoys me because I'm an Aquarius and I don't like it when people or like I wish to be this and I wish to be like this person and internally I'm thinking but you're already beautiful the way that you are I like when people follow the beat of their own drum because the universe made you in a very specific way gave you very specific features the cosmos know what they're doing you can maybe be inspired by people but I don't like the fact that people are like I wish I had this big booty like this celebrity because I'm like girl you already look beautiful not everybody likes llamas not everybody's gonna like you and you have to be okay with that you have to be like okay I'm not liked here, but I like myself. And that is the most important thing that you have to tell yourself. The world that you live in needs you to just be yourself. You're a divine cosmic print of the universe. So go out there and do the things that make your heart sing. Hey guys, so I forgot to end the video, but thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video really helped you out. And if you have any other tips or advice for others, let's be the community that helps. What is some advice that you would give to people so we can stop caring what others think of us so we can truly live the life Life that we want. Leave your comments below and I will see you all on the next video. Bye llamas!